Hello YouTube, this is Boba7772, and I am here today with a Star Wars Clone Wars action figure review of the new Cad Bane with Toto 360. So without further ado, let's get started. <coughs> this figure uh, comes with the standard stuff, the battle card, the stand, uh, the dice, you know, all that stuff. Uh, he also has a few weapons. Um, he has this gun which he, I'm not sure I really see, saw him use this gun, he may have carried it around in the hostage crisis episode, but I haven't really seen him use it, um, <coughs> we'll get to Toto in a second, another accessory is his hat, which fits on his head really well, didn't have to glue this one on like I did the last one, because it stays on actually good, <coughs> um, he comes with this messenger bag type thing that's around him. It's hollow on the other side. So I'm guessing like if there's a Jedi holocron he could put it in there or something. And he also comes with two of these modified blasters. Uh, Cad Bane and that one Twilight dude are the only ones who use them. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, his jacket is also removable but the sleeve colors um, match his jacket and they aren't removable so it won't look too good. Um, yeah, I'll do Articulation and Cad Bane, and then I'll go over Toto. Uh, Articulation, he has a ball-jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. He has, uh, arms that rotate around 360 degrees and outward. <coughs> his elbows rotate around 360 degrees and move down. And his hands rotate around 360 degrees. His waist rotates around 360 degrees. His legs bend backwards and forward to that opposite. His knees bend back and also rotate around 360 degrees. And he has no foot articulation. So yeah, that's Cad Bane. Um, put him back on the stand. Detail on this figure is really cool. Uh, the messenger bag is kind of sliding off. It does that easily. But, uh, yeah, this figure is really cool. I uh, can't see it that well, but his mouth is kind of open and he looks mad. You can see his red eyes, uh, pistols, this uh, soft, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, like cloth type thing. It's really cool. <coughs> so, yeah, that's Cad Bane. Um, it also includes a little mini figure, Toto 360. The only articulation, I'll go over articulation real fast, the only articulation on this figure is a ball-jointed head, which hits on 360 degrees and can mainly look down, up, uh, you know, anything. Uh, so yeah, you can see it's ball-jointed. Uh, he has no other articulation than that, and it's kind of hard to get him to stand, which really stinks. Uh, you kind of have to stand him up by Cad's foot. So yeah. Um, I really like this. This is my favorite Cad Bane figure so far, the one in the speeder bike. I liked until it broke, because that figure was really cheap. And the original figure was cool, he just didn't have that much articulation and that much detail. But yeah, if you're debating on a Cad Bane to get, I would recommend getting this one. This is the best one, in my opinion. Uh, let's put the gun in his hand so you can see what he looks like with that. So yeah, um, I would probably rate this figure a f f 4 out of 5, uh, the f just because the Toto, uh, I wouldn't have gotten it if it weren't for Toto, so I have to do something with Toto. He can't stand and barely has any articulation at all, and if you kind of accidentally bend his feet at all, it will not make him stand, so that stinks. Um, also with Cad Bane, he doesn't have foot articulation, which is fine, but he can't stand on his own. You have to use this. Uh, can't get the gun in his hand, really. It's kind of difficult. But yeah, if you see this figure in stores, I would recommend picking him up. Uh, it's a really cool figure, and if you're debating on one of the three Cad Banes to get, this would be the one. Especially because of Toto. It's really cool. Um, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. May the force be with you. Bye.